record number of missing persons case families and co-workers and friends infiltrate these child trafficking networks. They're very sophisticated. They have a clear hierarchy. Their businesses are behind closed doors and in the shadow. Hey y'all, uh, I just want to say thank you for gathering here today. I want to go over the amount of missing people in the United States. This is a topic that is heart-wrenching as it is alarming with statistics that send chills down the spine and stories that tear up the heartstrings today. We will delve into the stark reality of missing persons, discuss how we can stay vigilant and address the dark underbelly of sex trafficking and the exploitation of children. The stark reality of missing persons every year is hundreds of thousands of people go missing in the United States. According to the National Crime Information Center, NCIC, in 2023 alone, there were over 500,000 reports of missing persons. The staggering number includes children, teenagers, adults, and the elderly. What is even more frightening is these figures only represent those who have been reported missing. The true number, including those who get under under reported or unreported is believed to be much higher. Children are particularly vulnerable. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children NCMEC reported that in 2022, they assisted with more than 29,000 cases of missing children. These are not just numbers, they are sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, and friends. The pain and anguish experienced by those families left is unimaginable. Unreported cases, the silent epidemic. For every missing person reported filed, there are countless others that go un unreported or underreported. Many factors contribute to this silence. Fear, shame, lack of trust in law enforcement, or simply not knowing what to do. This silence creates an invisible epidemic where individuals vanish without a trace. Their absence unnoticed by society, runaways for instance, often slip through the cracks, and it is estimated that one in seven runaway children is likely a victim of sex trafficking. And I'll say it again, they're likely a victim of sex trafficking. That's one in seven. These children come from unstable homes and may not be reported. Homeless adults also face a similar disappearance into the shadows with no one to report their absence. Staying vigilant, awareness, and action. Given the gravity of the issue, it is imperative that we stay vigilant and aware of our surroundings. Here are some practical steps we can take to help prevent more people from going missing. Number one, awareness of surroundings. Always be conscious of where you are and who's around you. This is especially important in unfamiliar environments. And two, communication. Regular check in with your friends and family. Make it a habit to know where your loved ones are and who they are with. Safety measures. Teach children and vulnerable individuals about safety measures, such as not talking to strangers, using the buddy system, and having a plan in case that they get separated. Today, we have a lot of technology. Utilize this technology to your advantage. Share your location with trusted individuals and encourage them to do the same. Report anything you find suspicious. If you notice someone acting suspiciously or see a person who appears to be in distress, do not hesitate to contact the authorities. Sex trafficking and exploited children. One of the most horrifying aspects of the missing persons crisis, it is connection to sex trafficking and the exploitation of children. The United States is not immune to this heinous trade. In fact, it is a significant issue with our borders. The Polaris Project, which operates the National Human Trafficking Hotline, re received over 11,500 reports of human trafficking in 2022. These reports involved nearly 20,000 individual victims. Children are often the targets of traffickers and they are groomed, manipulated, and sold into slavery. Their innocence shattered and their lives forever altered. The internet has exasperated this problem, providing traffickers with new avenues to exploit and manipulate their victims. Social media platforms, in particular, have become hunting grounds for predators, seeking to lure children into their traps. The highest number in history. I'll say it again, the highest numbers in history. According to the global estimates of modern slavery, nearly 25 million people worldwide are trapped and forced in labor, with many of them being sex trafficking victims. In the United States, the number of reported trafficking cases have reached an all-time high, reflecting both the scale of the problem and the increasing awareness and reporting of these crimes. The rise in numbers is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it indicates that more victims are being identified and rescued. On the other hand, it also reveals the vast scale of the trafficking networks that continue to operate with impunity. As we reflect on the narrowing reality of missing persons in the United States, let us remember that each statistic represents a human life, a person with dreams, hopes, and loved ones. You know, it's hard to look at numbers um, and not and just kind of grasp those are each person that is missing is an actual person. Always remain vigilant and proactive in our efforts to protect our communities by staying aware of our surroundings, maintaining open lines of communication, and taking decisive action when we suspect something is amiss. 
when we can make a difference. The fight against sex trafficking and the exploitation of children is one that requires our collective effort. It is a battle we must wage with unwavering determination. For the sake of the countless innocent lives at risk, let us stand together, united in our resolve to bring the missing home, to protect the vulnerable, and to ensure that no more lives are lost to the shadows. I just want to say thank you all very much for uh, just listening to my little speech here. So I made this because statistically, the amount of people that go missing, I can't even find every single person that's gone missing if I wanted to, as far as just the reports. Um, I always try to narrow it down to people and vehicles, and it's, sometimes it's hard to find those. But from the information that I can gather, when I do find information and go through cases to see what may or may not be solvable, especially just being one person, the amount of odd cases that I find from the 80s and 90s that were only reported or at least updated to NamUs or put into NCIC in 2010, and you're talking 20, 30 year old cases that are just now being entered into the system. Um, it's disheartening, um, especially when you think something was kind of simple as far as someone's disappearance. People didn't put forth the effort to find those people because ideally, most of the time, law enforcement thinks that within 24 hours, 48 hours, most of the time people show back up within a week period. Um, with technology, I know with data, the police are able, sometimes able to get cell phones. Um, and a lot of times they'll get someone's phone or a friend's phone that ha, you know may have had communication with them and they'll eventually find out, hey, you know they've been missing for seven days, but they have been in contact with somebody. So that is like the pro of having technology. And then the bad side is that these predators go after kids online, different media platforms and things like that. Um, and there's just been an overwhelming amount of missing children that don't have cell phones, that don't have you know vehicles, um, and it's just very disheartening that these cases go unsolved. Uh, I made this video just to bring awareness. There's a lot of different apps that you can use that will show your location. You can share that with friends and family. I know iPhone has a system. Uh, Facebook, things like that. You can share your location with certain people for a certain amount of time if you would like. Um, my thing is, always look over your shoulder. I hate to say it like that, but be aware of your surroundings. Be vigilant. I'm always walking around with a head on a swivel, and sometimes I act like I don't see someone or I don't see something just to see what's going to happen. Um, always be alert. And the best thing I can say is when it appears that you're not paying attention and you are, you'll see when you're out in public, there's people that look and look at different, look at people. And I just want to say like analyzing situations and people. I don't know um, if they're just being vigilant and aware of their surroundings, but you'll see, look at body language. And I always say the eyes don't lie. Just be aware of your surroundings. If you can, use the buddy system. I love you all very much. And the, number of amount, the amount of people that are going missing every single day is overwhelming. And the amount of people that are missing that's never been reported, I'm sure those numbers are a lot higher than what we even know. Um, and someone's got to say it. Someone's got to do it. I'm not political, but <laughs> if you look at trends, you can look this up online. With the border being open, there's been a lot more missing people, a lot more crime. Um, I'll just stop there. You can believe what you want to believe. Um, I'm all for people coming into this country legally documented, but there's certain people that are crossing in over our borders. And you'll see the numbers, the, the amount of missing people and the amount of crime is going up hand in hand with the amount of people that are coming across our borders illegally. And I'll just stop there. So if you don't believe me, you must live under a rock and I'll probably lose subscribers, but someone's got to do it. I love you all very much. That's why I made this video. I don't want to go left or right. I don't believe in politics, but I do believe in having a safe society, as safe as we can get. And please look at the numbers. The more the border has been open, the more people that are crossing, the more the crime has went up, and the more missing persons that have went missing in the United States. If you don't believe me, look at the numbers, do your research, and that's all I have to say. Thank you all very much. It's Trey Narc Divers. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Hope you understand the message that I was trying to send out there. We cover a lot of missing persons cases. There's been a lot of people, a lot of true crime podcasts. I think they do a great job. Um, 
just statistically, I think we kind of get tunnel vision on a single missing person, and I hate to say it that way, but we need to look at the numbers as a whole, areas that people are missing from, and try to break it down. Um, and there's a lot of stuff going on in Tennessee, people that aren't even from Tennessee going through Tennessee and disappearing. That is a very, very alarming. Um, I have a friend that worked down in Tennessee. Um, human trafficking is through the roof, believe it or not. You just honestly can't trust most people nowadays. But so I'm going to stop there before going on any more of a rant. I love you all. Stay vigilant. Always watch your back. I shouldn't have to say that, but always stay in contact with someone. Let people know where you're at. Keep your head on a swivel and come home. I love you all very much. It's Trey, Narc Divers. See you all beautiful people in the water. Until next time, see ya.